This week in our Torah, we read Chai Sarah, which means the life of Sarah, even though it actually doesn't contain her life. It contains her death and what happens after. And one of the first things that happens after Sarah dies is we find Abraham sending a servant to find a wife for Isaac. As soon as the servant meets Rebecca, Rivka, she offers to give water to the camels and shows her kindness immediately. Rebecca is then asked if she will go with the servant to become the bride of Isaac, and she agrees. So they get on their camels and they head back. As they near home, one of my favorite verses in Tanakh happens. We're told that Rebecca raises her eyes and sees Isaac and falls off her camel. But right before that amazing line of Tanakh, that amazing imagery of Rivka being immediately smitten and falling off her camel, is a verse that the rabbis in the Talmud use to establish afternoon prayer. They're, we're told that Isaac goes out into the fields to have a conversation or to meditate or, as they say, to pray. The word you see here that is translated as converse, la suach, is what's called a hapax legomenon. A hapax legomenon, which literally just means a thing said only once in Greek, is used in biblical studies to refer to a word that appears uniquely in one place in the Bible. And this week in our Torah, we find a hapax legomenon in the word la suach, which the rabbis define in different ways, to converse, to meditate, to pray. And I think the, the idea that Isaac is going out into the field, out into nature to pour his heart out and pray is a really beautiful one because some of our most spiritual connected moments are in nature. When we're outside by ourselves, able to reflect and appreciate the world around us and understand how we're all connected. So this week, I hope you have a moment, la suach basade, to go out into nature by yourself, take a few quiet moments, and appreciate the world around us, and pray. I'll see you next week.